All right, I'm gonna start the video here. So basically, this is how I made the feathers, fake feathers. So originally, I went with a fabric, but the fabric had way too many ripples and like bubbles in it. So then I just decided to go with foam, even though it made the project a lot more expensive. Uh, I should have just did it, um, I think it's six or seven, you know, it's gotta be six inches by like, 20 inches long should have just done squares so then i can cut out the uh the end piece and they all fit together perfectly and here so <laughs> i'm a little impatient so i didn't realize that contact cement is contact cement works by when it's dry and then when it connects that's how it connects so I just had to let this sit for a little bit until it dried so I could so it could actually connect to it. I'm just a wee little bit impatient. All right, so after you've done all the feathers, you this is time to put the feathers onto the wings. So what I just showed you there was the screw. And so this, that screw I chose specifically because it had, uh, it had a wide base of it so that it would actually make sure that the wire didn't fall off and then stay on. This is me checking where I wanna actually Put it onto it because this i don't have this all figured out yet <laughs> i'm going i'm learning as i go so as you can see bottom right corner first thing i do is i mark where i want to put it put the cap on don't want a sharpie uh, drying out then you grab a drill bit that is smaller than the uh, smallest diameter i think i can't remember what it's called of the screw so that when the uh, the threads go in it actually grips on so you drill the hole first as you see hole drilled i then switch from a drill bit to a um a bit for screws uh, i i should have just used a screwdriver because i would have had more torque this drill this drill does not have that much torque so it just kept on failing at screwing it in
So here I'm just screwing in the screw. Like I said, I should have used a screwdriver because if it would have had more torque. I had a bunch of problems with this thing not going in. And so I like the I wanted to start from the outside in so that I, so it all line up. I don't know what the best way is. I might try doing an outside or inside out way of putting the feathers on. So there it is, the screws in. So now I take the wire, I bend it around, go in a full circle around it. I think a full and a half. I then use the drill to tighten it down so that it pushes it together so that I can put, drill it out a little bit so that it has some free room to go side to side. I then grabbed a uh, wire cutter to cut off the end of it so that it doesn't cause problems later on. And so what I did also was I used a um, pliers to squeeze it down a little more so there wasn't a little end poking out, but as you can see here, it's good. So it can walk, it can wiggle back and forth freely. There's nothing, no problems with it. And so, yeah. All right, so here, what I'm doing is, well, setting it up first, and then I'm taking a screwdriver and screwing in the screws so that it it's tight, so I can put them at the angle that I want them at. Yep, so I take a screwdriver, Screw them all at the angle that I want so that it looks good when they're all out. You could just, just lay it on the floor and like have them all out. I just wanted to do it this way so I can actually see it better. Okay, so now as you see, bottom right corner. So what I'm doing is now I'm stringing them all together. So how it works is all of them can move freely, but there's a string that goes through all of them so that when they go out, they are pulled tight and it actually pulls it out to the angle that I want them so they're just not straight up and down. So, but then when it pull, whenever it pulls in, or they all can go back to facing down and they don't interfere with each other. That's one thing I miss had a problem with. Well, something I did wrong was that I tied it. You should not tie it. I'm probably going to make something, 3D print something that can, like a tube that goes from the back to the front so that it can move, move freely and then tie a knot on the string so that when it's out or when it's going to go out, it pulls on the feather to keep it out. And yeah, that will be for version two, of course. 
So as you can see here, I'm just stringing it all together. And now I'm gonna take a screwdriver and unscrew them a little bit so that they are freely to move. So now they're all stringed together. That's why they're not going back to straight up and down. So because I tighten them and then string them, they're gonna stay at that spot. Well, they did move a little bit, but they shouldn't move that much. Yeah, so as you can see, they're all tight, so it moved wrong. And then here, I'm just going down and I'm cutting them to... So one of them was a little long, and a few others I didn't cut properly. So now I'm just cutting them all to uh, how I like it. So as you can see here, I test it. So because I tied them all together, they're not gonna go back to straight up and down. So that's why they have a lot of interference and that's why it looks really bad. But if I didn't tie it, they all come together quite well. 
And so now I'll be showing some of the things that I'll be adding to version two, like a remote so I don't have to flip a switch, some better uh, hinges, and a few other things.